Alrighty, ladies and gents, some have you requested that I show you what my Retina MacBook Pro setup looks like and I thought, hey, in this video, that is exactly what you are going to find. I may or may not be recording this from a Retina MacBook Pro. Just saying, just putting that out there. The perfect camera as found in your local Jessup's or Amazon. This is the future, kids. This FaceTime HD is what you're going to find. This is going to replace the iPhone DSLRs. This is what FaceTime HD is all about. Let's get into the setup. But all right, all right. So don't expect an hour's worth of footage. It's not. It's literally a couple of seconds. And the reason why I'm doing this is because a lot of you have said, "Hey, why do you need a Retina MacBook Pro and an iMac? Why the need for two? That is why this video is made to show you why I need it. So, on the left hand side is an iMac which I haven't turned on since I bought it. It's pretty much there as a footstool, even although it's sitting on a desk. I've got long legs, what can I say? Um, I did buy a mouse, that was the best thing I've done. I still need a keyboard. Behind there is a few iTunes card, and a few, I mean, about 30 or 40 of them piled up. Behind there is actually a blue light, an uh, LED light, which I picked up from eBay for about 4 or £5. It's showing a purplish in this video, with, uh, there's just DSLR stuff and video stuff that's causing it to have a purple effect, but it's actually blue and it looks really, really slick. Um, really good purchase, it's just nice decor, eh? it goes all the way around there. Um, over here we have a lamp, and as you can see this is not really a retina video. Um, I'm kind of going over this stuff before coming on to the beast itself. Well, hey, this lamp is actually quite useless and i just done it for entertainment value. Do you want to see how poor it is? Let's turn the lights off. Lights off. Light on. Pretty friggin' useless. It's USB. Shame it's not Thunderbolt or USB 3. Could have been powerful. Could it technically? I'm not too sure. But, uh, oh yeah, here's a famous gnome which I picked up from Asda, which a lot of you seem to comment on or like. Yes, he's got a huge bowl. And he just, his job is just to sit there and make you people smile, I guess. Um, oh, how can I forget Captain McTavish up there? You know, keeping an eye. He's my security official of the iGear HQ. Uh, the Asus monitor, I won't lie, since I got the Retina MacBook Pro, I'm using that less and less because I've got more real estate on the MacBook Pro now. So I'm rarely turning it on. So I'm thinking of, you know, hooking up an Xbox or something. There's... Stay tuned, I guess. Up here is a kind of a, what do you call it? A remote control, iPhone remote controlled RC truck, which I have reviewed on the channel. Down here, most of you probably have seen this on other channels, but this is a mini MacBook Air. It's kind of that cosmetic thing where you've got a mirror here as well. Let's open it up. Aha, we're getting full. This is a MacBook Air, not. There you go, so it acts as a mirror. Cool stuff though, eh? Cool story, bro. Um, should have not done that. Apple hard drive, um, picked up from good old China. It's been lasting with me for about two years now. It uh, hasn't failed. It's got a Seagate or a Western Digital inside with an Apple branded enclosure. There, I've reviewed this as well on the channel ages ago so you can see it. Lifesaver this. Absolute lifesaver. The 3 MiFi dongle, the new one, I believe it's the 586. Um, I gave my previous one to my dad, uh, so I bought this one. And it's doing me pretty well. I think it's 5 gig. Um, for £7 a month, uh, which is pretty darn good. Speeds on it are just phenomenal. Uh, download wise, upload wise, connection is pretty solid everywhere I've tried it. Uh, I've reviewed the previous version, not this one, and I would say this one is slightly faster. This is really a ancient camera as you can see. Uh, I don't know if it works or not, but I've just got it there for decor. This printer, shitty ass printer, um, the Mac kind of recognises it in a sense that you can't see the print levels so when the printer's not working it's usually a sign that you've got to change which, the, the, the ink cartridge but the real test is because this monster takes four ink cartridges 
you don't know which one to change so it's a bit of a you know a mess uh, once you open it and try to take its guts out randomly as every disc requires uh, this is official by law here that you have to have one of these on your desk uh, so junior hacksaw the daddy is somewhere here um, any ear earphones let's move on to the retina macbook pro which you have all been waiting for so here we go this is what i use it for guys video editing and a lot of it so here you see i've got a video that is going to be going up on a vlog channel pretty soon kind of a interactive video that i've done um so that'll go up pretty soon and the ivy bridge chipset the quad core the screen it just allows me to upload render the video much faster it also means on the go um you know the machine kind of acts as an iMac replacement because of the power packed into this um this usb here is of course for the lamp this is the thunderbolt uh, connected to the screen in the back magsafe 2 friggin legendary well the magsafe 2 i mean uh, the magsafe 2 used to cover the usb if i hooked it in this way so i'd have to swap it around the other way so it's kind of lurking back so great move there on the macbook pro this side has the three MiFi dongle connected because uh, it is low on battery here i've got an sd card 16 gig i really do need more of these I uh, keep forgetting to buy them, but I need to have a few of these in the office. So this is my office where I'm kind of in most of the time. So the iMac's for the house use. This one is for me on the go for the office. Uh, and it kind of gets me done pretty well. Guys, that is it pretty much for this video. And, you know, in terms of applications, uh, Mail, Safari, I've yet to install Chrome. Uh, Chrome is still buggy on the new Macs, as I've said in Apple Weekly. Um, you know, as well as bugs, it's still not got the retina fonts and it's just not it's polished off. Motion effects, currency is good, um, having to go back and forth to trying to figure out what the friggin' exchange rate is. Twitter, iMovie, Final Cut Pro I use a lot. Uh, MindNode Lite, Photo Booth, um, iPhoto I rarely use and these other things, games. I put on now and then Microsoft Office I use rarely uh, you know once I get the odd file and I've not got word I'm literally just kicking myself so here's just you know I've just got it installed for the sake of having it just in case if I need it pages is what I use primarily I love it um, and numbers here I don't use but guys that is it for my setup what is your retina MacBook Pro or your new Mac setup like Feel free to leave it as a video response, I'd love to check it out for sure. Uh, especially if you've bought a Retina MacBook Pro or any of the new Macs, you know, leave it as a video response. Heck, you know, it doesn't matter if you've got a video uploaded for the past couple of months or year. Leave it as a video response, I always love checking out these setup videos. Um, but I thought I would put this up, um, especially because a lot of you were asking, what are you using it for? This is what I use it for. Power on the go. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Whether Cheers. it be an iPhone, a Nokia, HTC, Samsung, heck, any smartphone on the market, it's compatible with our garments. There is indeed a pocket for this and a pocket for that. You can buy it today at iGear.com. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You never know, you might be the next one to get in on our free giveaway.